Oh my goodness, we are right under a speaker, but will you look at that? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wave Lady, and welcome to my channel. Well, we are still here in Allentown, and I am at Wheel Antique Center. This was actually suggested to me by the owners of Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. They said, you should really go check that out. And I took them up on that. So I am here today. This was my whole purpose of coming here to Allentown. Um, I'm heading up Goodwills while I'm here. But <laughs> I drove all this way to check out this antique mall. Um, I got permission from the owners to film. And we're going to go in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. So this store actually has a really cool exterior. Let's see here, antiques. Let's go in. This place is just amazing. And look at all of the cuckoo clocks up there. They just line the whole wall. It's pretty incredible. I don't think I've ever seen that many cuckoo clocks in one place. This case right here is 15% off. It is locked, so I have to make a mental note to come back here and ask for a key because I'm seeing some really fantastic pieces in here. Uh, we've got this little scarab down here. I love those um, Egyptian revival pieces. We've got this uh, swan. I believe that's Venetian glass. A little swan here. They've only got 29 on that. And then over here, this perfume bottle is 35. And uh, with everything being 15% off, that brings it right where I'm about comfortable. That piece down there is really interesting. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. <laughs> Isn't that curious? Um, but this is definitely a case that I think we need to get a key for when they're not busy at the checkout. Well, I've spotted these Sea Greaves um, birds here, which I've actually bid on them at auction before and lost. It was very, very disappointing. <laughs> um, somebody else wanted them more than I did. But they've got 160 each on those. And uh, remembering what they went for at auction, I'm feeling like that's a pretty pretty reasonable price for those. We've also got some fairing pigs here. Um, I love the sayings on those. They're always so much fun. I should buy baby, don't you cry. You'll be a sausage by and by. I mean, isn't that the sweetest thing you could say to a little baby pig? And then, of course, we have the dog. My goodness, I'm so excited for the cases. I should probably move on to the rest of the store. Goodness, look at this pixie. $28 for this large red pixie. I don't think I've ever seen them that size before. Um, $28. I mean, he's very charming for a pixie. And given his size, I'm kind of tempted. I'm not sure. I don't see any discounts on this booth. Um... Gosh, I just don't know these pixies very well. I know the little ones I can usually get about that for. Oh, and look down here. Oh my gosh, you can tell I, this is going to be a good shopping trip because I'm already really excited. But look at these little angels. $8 a piece. Oh my goodness. Chase hand-painted, made in Japan. She's got a little flower there. It looks like it fell. And then uh, we've got all these other little angels. $8 a piece. Nice little kitschy pieces. This one's watering the flower. And then you can see over there, <laughs> there's also, so I guess it's a common theme between the pieces. Um, $8 a piece. I might, I might grab these. I don't know, they're very kitschy. And kitsch has been doing well for me lately, so. This guy, I'm just not sure of. <laughs> He's giving me mixed vibes but maybe I'll take a chance on him because he's in really good condition and he's very large. All right, so these are the pieces that I decided to grab out of the case. We've got lots of Murano glass, beautiful pieces. This mid-century vase here, it's not marked on the bottom, but I love the style of it. I think it's really sharp. And then, of course, this piece, which I actually have one of these in my own collection at home, um, these reverse-painted pieces. I just think it's absolutely beautiful and this one's got strawberries on it so I didn't actually see that when I first wanted to get into the case. So this is everything we're getting out of the case and we're going to continue shopping. Got some really nice breadware here at this antique mall. Here we have the Ned Fultz Lion. 
It's pretty impressive. The little Noel figurines. This booth is full of fun stuff. And then we've got the little flocked critters from West Germany. Look at her. <laughs> She's like, squirrel, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. Oh, look at the little radish salt and pepper shakers. They're a lot of fun. But I'm not going to get into this case just yet because we need to keep shopping. Oh my goodness, look at all of the Artesania Rinconada. Look at it all. We've got the toucan with the red beak. I can't remember if it's the red beak or the yellow beak that's more valuable, but um, he's just so sweet. He's $28, 20% off. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, I think this is a moose, right? Isn't that an, a moose and then a moose in the back? I love these signed pottery moose antler as is. Oh, I guess maybe there was a repair on that guy. I might pull those two moose. Is that the plural moose? Um, I might pull them out and see what the markings are on those. And um, yeah. All right. And those are the laurel birch back there. Oh, maybe not. Just carved and painted cat. They sure do look like laurel birch, but maybe they're not. This moose in the back is actually marked Inesco, which kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. I also just noticed this tiger back here. This is one I've never had before. Um, the Artisania tiger. He's got a little chip there. Yes. I'm just going to put these back in the booth. Oh my goodness. So one of the vendors brought this up to me. It's $8. It kind of has this alabaster look to it. I think the color may be applied, but I like that that ombre effect of the white and the pink. So for only eight bucks, yeah, I'll grab it. Stick it right here. So I'm back to the artisania. <laughs> Today I'm so scattered, I'm going in every direction. Um, the video, I'm not sure how the video is gonna turn out, but um, I'm just not sure. I, I feel like those prices, yes, I can make a little bit of profit, but I'm not really sure if it's entirely worth it. It's kind of a blobby looking swan with a small head. What is this? A rabbit. I like that satin glass. I gotta be careful. I had I think I had too much coffee this morning, so I'm I'm awfully shaky. I have to be careful. <laughs> I don't drop anything. Oh my goodness, will you look at that? And I already see the price, so I already know it's not for me. <laughs> it's $125, but will you look at that guy? Oh, he's so cool. I love him. There's no way I can make that work, though. I mean, it is 20 per... No, no, I can't. <laughs> trying to rationalize it, but it's just not happening. All right. Let's see what else we can find in here. I've got lots of paperweights. I like that piece. I feel like this is a, a reproduction. I've seen it before. It's marked on the bottom. Um, maybe it's not. Last one I saw had a weird note on the bottom. I was like, oh, okay. This is absolutely stunning. $15. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I think we'll take that with us. And uh, there's so much great stuff in here, but the price points are just, they're good, but I'm not really sure about resale. So um, I think I'm going to keep on moving along. Really digging these steins here on the end cap. Um, I think they're probably contemporary. These are 20% off, they're $28. Um, it looks like they're just marked on the bottom with a number. I especially like this one because it has an owl on it. Um, but I just, I'm not 100, steins are one thing that it takes a lot to know steins and I've never been that committed to learning them. But there's a lot of money to be made in them. Some stangle here, that's a really pretty floral pattern. Goodness gracious, I'm just wandering aimlessly at this point. I still have no uh, method to uh, <laughs> my wandering. I'm sure I'll figure it out though. But oh my goodness, we are right under a speaker, but will you look at that? Isn't that just absolutely stunning? They've got 175 on it, and uh, it's 25% off. That is a beautiful piece. Here I am trying to justify it. I may have to do a little math because these heavy Moriagi, Moriage pieces do very well for us. Um, so if if the math is right, I might actually pick that up. I love those purple flowers and uh, heavy 
heavy moriage. So <laughs> let's check it out. At 25% off, we're looking right around 130, and I feel like that's a good price for it. We can do all right with that. Um, some of our pieces recently have sold for three, four hundred dollars. So I'm basing this off of previous sales, but um, I'm telling you what, I'm in love with those purple flowers. So what is that? That is a bird. They've got sixty dollars on it. Okay, uh, easily distracted. But I'm going to bring this up front so I don't accidentally drop it um, with my coffee shakes, and then we're going to keep going. We've got a beautiful covered dish in here, and I have actually bought and sold this pattern in the past. Eric brought it to us, as a matter of fact, and uh, we did fairly well with it because of this really ornate Art Nouveau style. It's $25. I can't remember the exact name of the pattern, but I'm thinking maybe we could get this open and check it out. I just had to figure out how this works. All right, I'm gonna investigate. <laughs> I did tip it to see what the pattern name was and refresh my memory. It is the iris pattern. So now I'm going to look up comps on that covered dish because I remember a lot of the serving pieces did fairly well the last time I checked them out. Here is one recently um, as August uh, 2021 here on Worth Point. That one sold for $94. They've got $25 on it. I feel like this is a piece that we would have to buy um, and then list buy it now and sit on it for a while because it's very unique. And we have been testing out buy it nows on some of our um, higher end items. So I think I'm gonna pass on it and let somebody else come along and get a deal. So I'm gonna check out this piece down here. Um, this is a glass decanter set and there's supposed to be glasses and a little decanter on the inside. So it's got this coralline texture on it it's a beautiful piece we have bought and sold them in the past um, but I'm not sure if it's gonna have all the glasses inside I'm gonna turn off the camera to check and I'll get back to you so it does have some of the glasses it looks like it has all of the glasses actually but um, because they've been stacked they're unfortunately broken um, and in the center it appears to be the decanter but since I'm one-handed and operating the camera I can't really pull it out um, so I think will pass for $25. I mean, I feel like this piece right here alone could be uh, worth something, but um, for us, it's just not right. This is my jam. I love these chairs right here. How much do we have on them? $795. Chair, oh, that one over there is a rocker. Oh my gosh, those are amazing, $795. If only I was in need of furniture, <laughs> I would probably pick those up. But I have furniture. I have no more room for more furniture. Let's see what we've got in here. There's some nice art glass pieces in there. Um, and then over here, I do like the glaze on that pottery vase. But I'm not sure. I can't really make out what's on the bottom and they're asking $89 for it. I actually have two of these at the shop that I've finally made up my mind that I'm going to get rid of. So it's good to see what they're asking for at $150 so I can have something to compare it with. Um, I think I have a silver one and a kind of blobby one with different colors in it. So um, I'm not sure yet if we're going to list those on eBay or put those in the booth. But um, I like to get a price point on what people are asking in their booths. That is a crazy looking art glass vase, but they've got $1.99 on that. This is a fantastic booth. I'm just not sure there's really much here for resale. Right, so I feel like I'm kind of lost at the moment. I'm not really sure uh, where I've wandered to, but um, I noticed this piece down here. This is a Fostoria heirloom bowl, and they've got $34 on it. Um, I like it. We had some Fostoria Heirloom recently that didn't really perform as well as I thought it would, so for today I will pass on it, but um, we will always keep our eyes out for that. Here are some more really nice Seagraves pieces, the birds, and um, are they marked on the bottom? Yes, they are marked J-E-S, that is the marking, so if you ever see them when you're out and about, they sell for decent money and they're kind of inconspicuous because they're just marked J-E-S on the bottom. Um, I'm still not sure about these ones if I, I have any wiggle room there. Uh, this is consolidated glass. It looks like $225 on that one. And uh, oh, look at that. $80 on that piece. I have one of those. 
And I just haven't gotten around to listing it yet, so I better do that. These bottles are really nice. $25 floral toilet bottle. I know what that is now. Um, toilet water. <laughs> I've actually got two of them here. I think they're probably $25 each. $77. Oh, I think that's just the vendor number. Um, I, I really love those pink pieces. I was just checking this ink bottle to see if it's a shared lip like Andrew has been looking for. Um, oh man, those are just beautiful, aren't they? Really nice pieces. I like the enamel work on them. Um, 95 on this carnival glass piece. We just sold one of those recently for um, decent money. I think that one was also cobalt. Uh, I feel like if there was a discount, I would probably pick those up. Or if they were 25 for the pair, but I'm just not comfortable at 25 a piece. That's a very pretty little vase there for $20. I like the enamel work on it. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Ooh, I wonder what their price is on that. Please open. Don't mind if I do. Um, I'm gonna reach in and check this guy out. Oh, it's incredibly thin. Looks like $35 on that. Look at my hand shaking. Um, $35 on that. I almost wonder if it would have had a lid. $35. Man, I just love the enamel work. It kind of reminds me of Moser. I'm not certain if it is or not. Um, this one back here. This guy. This little beautiful box. That one has nice enamel on it too. That one is $45. That reminds me of Moser as well. Is there a discount? No, we've got no discount. <laughs> oh man, I'm just like right at that point where I'm like, yeah, I could probably do it. This one on the other hand, I think I'm gonna grab this for 35. All right, well I was walking by this booth and I caught a glimpse of that Murano right there. It's a really nice piece. Then we've got an angel. Unfortunately, the tag is turned around, so I can't really get a good look at it. Um, let's see if we can find anything else. And everything in here is 20% off except marked berm. I love that owl lamp, but I bet you it's real heavy. Got some blue molds. All right, I think the Murano is really all I like. That's a beautiful piece. They've got 150 on that, and then this egg inside of this cloche is, um, I think I can't really tell what the price is on that, actually. Well, that sure looks familiar. I actually just sold one of these recently, um, and I believe the artist was possibly Stein, I think. Um, this one just says signed. It doesn't say who it's signed by. But ours sold for pretty decent money, I think $250. They've got $125 on this. Um, so if it is in fact the same artist, it's probably worth it to me to pick up even with a $125 buy-in because I can turn it around and sell it for $250. So um, I may take a closer look at that. Alright, so one of the ladies who works here just showed me this beautiful bowl down here. Um, it is Yalos Murano. Um, it's so very thin. It's a great price, though. It's $105. Um, my concern would be shipping it. And I actually have a piece of Yalos in our booth right now. So um, I probably need to get rid of the one I have before I go buy in another one. But uh, 105 is great. I think I have 200 on the one that I've got in the booth. It has Millefiori in it, but um, I love the iridescence to this piece. This poodle back here is lots of fun. Oh, I thought it was going to be a resin. Oh, it's sealed with a kiss. It's actually originally sold at Home Goods. Nine dollars on this one. Um, it is missing some of its spaghetti, but these sealed with a kiss pieces can be worth money, um, even when they're sold at Home Goods. So I wasn't actually expecting that. A lot of the times I see the lamps, um, and I've seen a teapot before. That candle's making me nervous. Um, but for nine bucks, I think we'll grab this. It's a fun pink poodle. 
Who doesn't love a pink poodle? That chair is a hazard because I just totally smacked my hand against it. I was even looking where I was going. I didn't even see it. All right, let's check out this booth. Um, I think we've pretty much been around and seen everything. Um, I didn't film a lot of it, but I walked around. There were a few booths that I skipped um, because there were people in the booth and I didn't really want to disturb them with me filming. Um, but I think we're pretty much going to wrap it up here. Oh my goodness, what is this? This is local pottery. It must be a local artist. Signed Phelps Pottery Face Jug. That's an amazing face jug. I love that face. And the eyes are matte and the face is glossed like a little elf. That's really cool. I don't think at that price there's much I can do with it, but it's really awesome and worth filming. Okay, well our total spend there was $551. We got some really great stuff. That was so exciting. I love going into a new antique mall and just never knowing what I'm going to find. Um, I had a lot of a lot of fun there today. Um, I think now I'm going to head on down the road. There's a few more places I want to visit while I'm here in Allentown, and it's already 3.20, so um, we're going to hit up the White Castle in honor of Andrew and him not being here with us, <laughs> and hopefully that all turns out okay, um, but I will see you guys tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.